welcome to my youtube channel those whoever is watching my video i'm going to tell you a story today and i want you as parents as grown up matures young entrepreneurs new businessmen anybody who is indulging into a new work new epitome of life or who is actually pursuing anything this is a story for everyone and i i was actually um thinking on to the story and i thought to convey to you ye kahani hai raju ki jo ek bahut chote se gaon mein rehta he lives in a very small town waiting for his engineering results and one day before the results are out he gets so exasperated he decides to put an end to his life and all his troubles but he was sure that he wouldn't be able to crack the exam he decides to end his life and with his decision he starts writing a suicide letter he writes i hold nobody responsible for my condition and i quit he wants to write more things in order to provide solace to his parents but could not actually put up all his words together and burst out in tears so much so that that he lies on the bed starts crying and then you know what happens to kids of this age he falls asleep that's fine that's absolutely fine he sleeps late at night when his parents come back from the work they see the sun sleeping disturbs him not in the next very morning the child gets up with again a decision a firm decision to jump from the high tower building of the town and says to her mother ki mummy i'm leaving i'm actually i'm going to uh, to my friend's house is that a matter to you she deliberately asks him to go into his room and put all his things into order generally we mothers do that actually we actually we are able to detect what our kids are going through and we barely see pata chal jata these are intuitions that we get she just asked her son to go into his room and put all his things of class 12 into order because it's this year that she is going to get admission to colleges and he has to pack all those things which are not required and this is what he promised to do on the sunday before that she could not ask him to leave or allow him to leave so the child he is actually very uh, despaired so he says like you know this is what you want me to do today on uh, sunday she says yes yes you have to go there and she says mark my words please order all the books please you know orderly arrange all your books which are kept on the table she says yes to it uh, he says yes to it and uh, he goes to arrange the books Uh, in a very fury or you know say rage and he goes to the table he remembers that he kept the suicide note over there and it was like okay in a relaxed uh, breath that he gave he said like nobody has seen that letter and so he can actually put it away he goes and see this letter the letter uh, says that were the lines that he wrote i quit i hold nobody responsible and he left that letter incomplete he remembered that that he was not able to write anything because he was crying a lot he was very much in a depression state so he was not able to write anything so he left it uh, incomplete but he could now see some words scribbled on that piece of paper the word the words were very very easily readable and he could understand that these were the words written by one of his parents he read it to himself I hold nobody responsible for my condition but only my parents my peers and most importantly myself for I could not see my parents gave me fresh delicacies when they had nothing for themselves to eat just the stale chapati for themselves I could not see they got me in good school when they could hardly afford education for themselves i was ending my life because i could not see that they bought me toys on every occasion when they could hardly afford themselves some basic needs 
I was ending my life because I could not remember that they got me new clothes and shoes when they own wore only torn and tattered. I could not remember hardly that once my mother said that she need no sandals as she's comfortable in those slippers for she hardly goes out. I could not remember all those fasts of my mother when she said that it had, she had to fast because she had to maintain her figure, but she was saving the food for me. She was praying all the time for me. I wanted to quit because I could not feel that they gave me whatever I wanted and I received all that that they wanted to bestow on me without asking a question. Just saying to myself that I'm the child and they could at least do this for me. I am ending my life for I hold them responsible for giving me all the luxuries of life and yet not thinking as parents that they loaded me up with the expectations in return. Which is not right on this side. For I'm a living being and not a money bond or a gold bond or a piece of land which can be used as an asset for future. They always told me I was a diamond. I did not take it seriously. Yet I could not take the pressure and thus striving hard to even become and resist myself as an individuality of a core. After reading this story, after reading this letter, Raju decided not to give up his life. He struggled hard to sustain. He felt he broke himself various times, but never quitting on himself. I know him. You know such people. Don't give up on life so easily. As parents, I'm just urging you not to behave to your kids as a property to them. You've invested in them and they will give you back because that's creating pressure on their minds. To kids, it's my request. You have seen nothing in your life. And even if you have, there's lots of things to happen to your life. It's not a college or an engineering or a profession that will decide your life. It's what you are. Thank you. And bye.